So good evening, everyone. Metabolic and nutritional diseases in sheep and goat. So here I have concentrated only regarding the clinical management, purely regarding the practical aspect, how to diagnose a case clinically and how to treat the case. So many times the farmers are the, they will bring them uh, to you with a day old kit or a one week old kit that is not getting up, not drinking milk and all. So they will be bringing like this. So you have to think about the multiple deficiencies, multiple it, yeah, the weak kid syndrome. We used to call as weak kid syndrome. Mainly the animal will be in the comatose stage, the neonate, the young ones, within one week of age, because of the neonatal infection. Mostly because of the neonatal infection, we have to advise the farmers to cut the uh, umbilical cord. After uh, delivery, you have to come, uh, cut the umbilical cord and cauterize with the uh, powder nadine or tincture nadine to prevent the neonatal sepsis, to prevent the joint ill. We have to cauterize the umbilical cord. So that will prevent the neonatal infection. And multiple etiology will lead to weak kids. Weak kids means the animal will be weak in nature, emaciated, it cannot be able to stand. One of the main things is a colostrum deprived animal. So, with the immediately after uh, kidding or lambing, neonates, they should receive the colostrum within six hours. If you are uh, missing that first six hours, then naturally the animals will be going for weak kid syndrome. So, colostrum deprived animals are more prone for weak kid syndrome. And debility, the animal will be having subnormal temperature. Hypoglycemia, because of low energy, hypoglycemia, the animal will be having a low energy that will be in the comatose stage or the lateral vertebrae. When you make the animal stand, the animal will be having staggering gait, unable to bear weight. And vitamin A, vitamin E and the selenium combined, all these deficiencies will be exhibited. You cannot be able to collect a particular sample and you cannot be able to come to a conclusion. See whether the animal is having neonatal infection or not. If so, you give antibiotics, amoxicillin, for controlling the neonatal infection. Then you supplement vitamin A and vitamin E and B complex. And the colostrum deprived animals, it should be, I mean, orphan puppy, orphan kids should be managed accordingly with uh, colostrum. So you manage, if the animal is having low energy level, you can supplement oral electrolyte solutions or parental glucose solutions can be given. So just uh, 5 ml glucose solutions can be given, IV, 5 ml can be given. And the vitamin A, 0.5 ml and the B complex and uh, vitamin E, selenium deficiency you can give and you can manage the weak kid syndrome. Within few or a few days, you can make up few number of deficiencies you can give, and you can manage the weak kid syndrome. Within few or a few days, you can make up few number of cases. You can prevent the mortality. So colostrum feeding should be done within the proper time. Within two hours, we have to drench the colostrum. We have to make the animal assess for the colostrum. And uh, the animals sometimes, when they are going for a comatose stage, you think about Rapid respiration will be there. You think about neonatal sepsis or neonatal infection and treat it accordingly. So you can supply flunixin will be very much helpful for uh, treating the sepsis case and antibiotics whenever it is needed. Amoxicillin you can give and flunixin in case of uh, whenever you come across sepsis and fluid therapy. Fluid therapy is a small kid, just 5 to 10 ml, take it in a syringe and put a butterfly needle and you can give 5 ml of uh, a DNS or a wrinkle active solutions, IV, slow IV. And the electrolytes, if the animal is able to swallow or uh, the gagging reflex is present, then you can go for feeding bottle. With the feeding bottle, you can supply electrolyte supplementation. These are the small, small tips that can save the small kids and you can uh, save many number of animals. Within two to three days of uh, management of uh, these weak kids, many number of kids are being saved and uh, we can prevent the economic loss to the farmers.